Okay, so first of all, open up the selection pane and rename both of the charts to chart one and chart two. Then right click on the sheet name and go to view code. Then go to insert and insert module. And this is where I will be typing the macro. So the macro is going to be called chart big. And the first line of code will be with active sheet dot shapes, open brackets, open quotation marks, and then chart one, close quotation marks, close brackets, and enter. And so what this code is doing is looking in the active sheet for a shape called chart one. And then with this shape, we're going to change four aspects of it. And those are going to be the top, the left, the width, and the height. Now the top is the position where the top of the chart is, and the left is the position where the left-hand side of the chart is, then the width is the size of the chart from left to right, and the height is how tall the chart is from top to bottom. So with these four components, we can control both the position of the chart and the size. And in order to change these, we have to make them equal to a range. And I am going to come back later and put cell references in between the quotation marks. And this needs to be dot top. Then I'm going to copy this and paste it down here. And this needs to be changed to left, this to width, and this to height. And then after this, I need to type end width. So now I'm going to put cell references in between each of these quotation marks. Now I don't actually want the top or the left to move. So the top of the chart is currently in row two and the left hand side of the chart is currently in column E. So the cell reference here is going to be E2 and I'm going to make it the same for the left as well. Now for the top, it doesn't actually matter what the column is, and for the left, it doesn't matter what the row is, but I want for them to be both the same. Now for the width and the height, these actually need to be two cell references each, and I am going to put them in as the top left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner. So the first cell reference needs to be E2 for the top left corner. Then I want to make this chart bigger by three columns. So one, two, three, which means the column needs to be L. And I also want to make it bigger by three rows. So one, two, three, and that means the row number needs to be 16. So the cell reference is L16 and I'm going to type that in here. And I'm also going to copy and paste this so the cell reference for the height is also E2 to L16. Then I am going to save this. And in order to save it, it has to be saved as a macro enabled workbook. So select no, and then change the save as type to an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. Now, when I run this code, the chart gets bigger. I also want another macro that will make the chart smaller again. So I'm going to copy all of this and paste it down here and then make some changes to this. So this macro is going to be called chart small and I'm going to keep the top and the left the same as they were before, but I'm going to change the width and the height to make the chart go back to the size it originally was, which means the cell reference this time is going to be I and it's going to be row 13. 
So this here needs to be changed to I13. And I'm also going to change the height as well. Then when I run this macro, the chart gets smaller again. Now I'm going to make a couple of buttons to do this for me. So I'll go to insert, illustrations, icons, then search for a magnifying glass and select this one here and insert. And then I will hold down shift to resize this and put it in the top corner. Then right click and go to assign macro. And I will assign it the chart big macro and OK. Now when I click on this magnifying glass, it will run the chart big macro and make the chart bigger. Then I'll hold down control and click and drag to make another copy of this magnifying glass and right click and go to assign macro and this time assign it the chart small macro and OK. And when I click on this one, it makes the chart smaller. Now I'm going to open up the selection pane again and rename both of these shapes. So this one I will call big and this one I will call small. Then go back to the Visual Basic Editor and add in a couple of lines of code. So this will be active sheet.shapes and the shape will be the big magnifying glass and then dot visible equals MSO false. And so what this is doing is looking in the active sheet for a shape called big and then changing its visibility to false. So it's making it invisible. Now I'm going to copy this and paste this down here and then change it so this is small and change this to true. So now when I run the chart big macro, in addition to making the chart bigger, it will also make the big magnifying glass invisible and the small magnifying glass visible. Now I'll copy this and paste these two lines of code down here and swap them so they're the opposite way round. So when I run the chart small macro, as well as making the chart smaller, it will also make the big magnifying glass visible again and the small magnifying glass invisible. So now when I click on this magnifying glass, it makes the chart bigger and the big magnifying glass also disappears. Then when I click here, it makes the chart smaller and the small magnifying glass disappears and the big one reappears again. Now I'm going to make the small magnifying glass visible again. And this is what the VBO code is actually changing. It's showing and hiding the shapes. I'm going to hold down control and select both of these, go to graphics format and align and align center and align middle. So these shapes are now both directly on top of each other. So now when I click here, it makes the chart bigger. And then when I click again, it makes the chart smaller. And even though there are still two magnifying glasses there, it looks like there is just one. Now I also want this to work for the second chart as well. So I'm going to make a couple more copies of these magnifying glasses. And I'm going to call this one here big two and then rename this one small two. Then go back to the Visual Basic Editor and copy all of this code here and paste it down here. And I'm going to change all of this so that it will work for the second chart instead. So the macros need to have different names. So this here will be chart big two and chart small two. Then I need to make them so it is working with chart two instead of chart one. 
and I need to change the magnifying glasses here to big two and small two in both cases. And now we need to change the cell references so they match up with this chart. So I'll start off with the chart small macro because this will change the size of the chart back to what it originally was, which is what it currently is. So the top and the left now are in the J column and in row two. So I'm going to change the cell references for the top and the left to J2. I technically didn't need to change the cell reference for the top here, but I'm doing it anyway because I want for these both to be the same. Then the width needs to go from J2 to the bottom right hand corner of this chart, which is in N13. So I'm going to change this here to N13 and then also change the height here to J2 and N13. And now I will change the chart big macro. So I need to change the top and the left and I want to make this chart bigger by three columns again. So one, two, three. So the column is now column G and that means the cell references for the top and the left are going to be changed to G2. Then the width needs to go from G2 and I want the right hand side of this chart to stay in the same place, but I want it to get bigger by three rows. So one, two, three. And so the cell reference is N16. And I will change this here to N16 and then also change the height as well to G2 and N16. Now I'll go back to the Excel spreadsheet. And now I have made the macros. I can right click on the magnifying glass and go to assign macro and assign it the chart big two macro and okay. Then right click on this magnifying glass and assign macro and assign it the chart small to macro and OK. Then hold down control and select both of these shapes. Go to graphics format and align and align center and align middle. So both the magnifying glasses are on top of each other. Then when I click here, the chart gets bigger. And when I click again, the chart gets smaller. However, there's a pretty obvious problem with this because this chart here is actually underneath the first chart. So in order to fix this, I need another line of code. And I'm gonna go back to the Visual Basic Editor and type in here active sheet dot shapes. And this time the shape will be chart one and dot Z order MSO send to back. And so what this is doing here, if you think of a normal chart, it has an X and a Y axis. Well, there is also a third axis called the Z axis. And so the Z order is just how the shapes are stacked on top of each other inside the Excel spreadsheet. Then MSO here stands for Microsoft Office and send to back means we're taking the shape here, chart one, and sending it to the back of the Z order. So it's going to be underneath everything else. This has the same effect of selecting this chart here and going to format and then selecting send to back here. It's the same thing just written out in code. So now if I click on the magnifying glass again, the second chart is now over the top of the first chart. However, this creates a new problem because now when I make the first chart bigger, it's underneath the second chart. So in order to fix this, I need another line of code. So I'm going to copy this here and go back up to the first chart big macro and paste it in here and then change chart one to chart two. So now when I make chart one bigger, it will send chart two to the back so that it is underneath chart one. 
And with the two chart small macros, it doesn't actually matter what the Z order is because when the charts are smaller, they aren't overlapping. So now when I go back here, I can make the charts bigger and smaller and whichever chart is bigger is going to be the one on top. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make charts bigger and smaller using VBA in Excel, and that is everything.